Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Arm Duelist and they're gonna be doing a Time Wizard deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this for you guys because this deck is an extremely nostalgic deck thing and some of that one of the hardest boss monsters in the entire game to summon, Dark Sage. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, Hit that bell on there so you can come part of the notification squad and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like in your name, description, every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Time Wizard. Time Wizard is one of our main boss monsters of the deck that has a crazy powerful ability that once per turn, you can toss a coin and call it. And if you call it right, destroy all monsters that your opponent controls but if you call it wrong you destroy as many monsters that you control as possible and if you do take damage equal to half the total attack those destroyed monsters had while face up on the field which is a really powerful effect to be able to board wipe your opponent's monsters so you can go in for game but if you call it wrong you're going to take some damage which is a little bit of a downside of this card but it's really easy to get out on your side of the field with this build we then play two copies of baby dragon you guys know we got to play two copies of baby dragon with our copy of time wizard those cards just go together so that we can make our copy of thousand dragon which is just super nostalgic we then play three copies of keeper of dragon magic Keeper of Dragon Magic is a definite three of in the build because this card helps out a lot searching our fusion spells from our deck to our hand. With the ability that this card is normal or special summon, you can discard a card to add a polymerization normal spell or a fusion normal spell from your deck to your hand, which is a really cool effect. You can also reveal a fusion monster in your X check to be able to special summon one of the fusion materials whose name is specifically listed on that monster from your graveyard in face down defense position, which is a really powerful effect to be able to bring back your copy of Time Wizard or one of our other fusion materials we're playing in the build. This card does lock you into fusion summoning for the turn, but that's totally fine because that's all we're playing in the extra deck anyways. We then play three copies of Magician Souls. Magician Souls is amazing because this card helps you get to your copy of Dark Magician extremely easily. It also works as a draw engine in the deck, which is amazing because you can send up to two spells and traps from your hand or field to the graveyard to draw that many cards, which is an amazing ability just to help you dig into the deck, but it also has the ability of this card in your hand. You can send a level six or higher spellcaster monster from your deck to the graveyard to activate one of these effects. Either special summon this card or send it to the graveyard to be able to special summon dark magician from your grave which is an amazing ability so we can get one of the two pieces we need on our side of the field to summon out dark sage we then play two copies of illusion of chaos illusion of chaos is amazing in the deck as a two of because this card essentially searches out your copy of magician soul from your deck to your hand by just revealing this card in your hand which is amazing i love that about this card and it's super powerful in the deck we then play two copies of the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense, Dark Magician. This card is a definite two of in the build because it helps you go in for your copy of Dark Sage and into a lot of fusion plays in this deck, which is why we're playing this card as a two of in the build. We then play a single copy of Dark Sage. This card is an amazing old school card and is so cool in this deck. It has a really cool ability that you can only, this card can only be special summoned from your hand or your deck by offering one Dark Magician on your side of the field as a tribute when you succeed in the effect of Time Wizard, meaning it's one of the only cards in the entire game that can activate its effect from the deck and special summon itself from your deck, which is absolutely crazy. And at that time, you get to pick a spell card from your deck and add that card to your hand and then shuffle the deck, which is a really cool ability to grab any spell that you need from your deck to your hand. This card was the original triple tactics thrust, which is absolutely insane. This card is a definite one of in a time wizard deck because it's so easy to summon with two cards in this build, a copy of time wizard and dark magician on the field. We then play two copies of Fallen of All Baz. Fallen of All Baz is a definite two of in the build because we are playing a branded package in the deck because it helps us go in for a bunch of different fusion plays in this build. We then play a single copy of Blazing Cartesia. Blazing Cartesia is super helpful in this build because this card is basically walking polymerization, which is why we play this card as a one of in the deck. We then play a single copy of the original Red Eyes Black Dragon. This deck would make Joey Wheeler proud. We're playing Time Wizard, Baby Dragon, Dark Sage, 
and even Red Eyes Black Dragon just in the main deck alone. But this card helps us go for Red Eyes Dark Dragoon using our copy of Dark Magician and Red Eyes Black Dragon, which is amazing that we can make the ultimate friendship boss monster, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, using the two monsters that you're supposed to use to summon it, which is just super cool. So that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get in to the spells. So for the spells, we're going to start with a single copy of Magicalized Fusion. This card is basically Miracle Fusion for the deck, helping us step into a bunch of different fusion plays using this card. We then play a single copy of Magician's Right Hand. This card is amazing because it has the ability to negate the effect of your opponent's first spell card or effect that resolves each turn while you control a spellcaster type monster, and if you do or do not have an effect, destroy that card, which is a really cool ability about this card to negate your opponent's first spell that they activate. We can play a single copy of Magician's Left Hand. This card is really good in the deck because this card negates the first trap your opponent would activate, which is just really good about this card. We can play three copies of Magician's Restage. This card is amazing as a 3 of in the deck because it lets you basically target a level 3 or lower spellcaster type monster in your graveyard and special summon it, basically bringing back your copy of either Magician Souls or the main card I bring back with it is Time Wizard, which is just super cool. This card also works really well with your copies of Magician Souls because if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add Magician's Continuous Spell card from your deck to your hand, except another copy of this card, essentially searching out your copy of Magician's right or left hand when you send it to the graveyard of Magician Souls. We then play three copies of Unexpected Die. Unexpected Die is really good as a 3 of in the deck, because this card helps you bring out your copy of Baby Dragon to your side of the field, so you can make your copy of Thousand Dragon. We then play three copies of Fusion Deployment. Fusion Deployment is super helpful, because we have a bunch of different monsters in the extract that we can reveal for this card's ability to be able to bring out cards like Time Wizard, Red Eyes Black Dragon, Dark Magician, Baby Dragon, any of those cards, the really nostalgic cards that you can reveal with monsters in your extract to be able to bring out cards from the extract which is just super cool we then play three copies of polymerization polymerization is a definite three of in the deck to be able to fusion summon into all sorts of really cool boss monsters like time wizard of tomorrow which is just so cool about this card we then play three copies of branded fusion branded fusion is really good in the deck and just makes the deck that much more consistent to be able to step into cards like time wizard of tomorrow or even boss monsters like mirror jade which is just so cool this card is a definite three of in the deck and lets you use monsters from your deck as material to fusion summon it does lock us into fusion summoning which is totally fine because that's all we're playing in the extra deck anyways we then play three copies of super polymerization super polymerization is really good as a three of just to break your opponent's board but also getting a really cool boss monster on our side of the field which is just amazing about this card so that's it for the main deck guys let's get in to the extra deck So for the extra deck, guys, we're going to start off with two copies of Time Wizard of Tomorrow. This card is an amazing two of boss monster that's actually a board wipe and a super poly target because it just requires a copy of Time Wizard plus an effect monster to make this card. It has a really cool ability like your copy of Time Wizard that once per turn, while you control this fusion summon card, you can toss a coin and call it. Then you destroy as many monsters on the field as possible, and if you do, inflict damage equal to half the total original attack of the destroyed face-up monsters, and if you called it right, then your opponent takes the damage, but if you call it wrong, then you take the damage, which is a really cool ability that you're guaranteed to destroy the monsters on the field with this card's ability. We then play a single copy of the original thousand dragon this card is really cool as a one of in the extra deck it's super nostalgic it's actually an original print one which is just absolutely amazing that i pulled a long time ago from a pack of metal raider and it's just such a cool card to be able to play in the deck plus you can reveal it with fusion deployment which is amazing to be able to summon your copy of time wizard or baby dragon we then play two copies of red eyes dark dragoon red eyes dark dragoon is super easy to make in this deck and it's also the ultimate friendship boss monster which is just super cool i love that about this card that is basically your copies of dark magician plus red eyes black dragon which is yugi and joey's boss monsters that you're using to make this card which is just absolutely amazing plus it can be destroyed by card effects and it can be targeted it's a walking negate gains a thousand when it negates something and pop monsters on the field and does burn damage which is just absolutely insane 
We then play a single copy of Master of Chaos. This card is super easy to make in the deck. With just a copy of Illusion of Chaos plus your copy of Dark Magician, it makes it super easy to make this card. And if this card is Fusion Summon, you get to target a light or dark monster in your graveyard and special summon it, which is amazing to be able to bring back your copy of Time Wizard with this card's ability. We then play two copies of Mirror Jade. Mirror Jade's amazing as a two of boss monster in the deck. This card is amazing to be able to spot remove cards off the field. We then play a single copy of Lubellion. Lubellion's great to be able to basically shuffle a fusion materials back to be able to make a really cool boss monster. I absolutely love using this card to be able to make my copies of Mirror Jade, and it's just a really good card overall, or even make Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. We then play two copies of Albion. Albion's amazing in the deck as a two up because this card is basically walking miracle fusion for the deck, and it's just overall fantastic to be able to use in this build. Plus, you basically play one to be able to fusion summon with and one to send to the graveyard because it has the ability if this card is sent to the graveyard this turn and it's in the graveyard, then you can add to your hand or set a branded spell or trap directly from your deck during the end phase which is a really cool ability we then play a single copy of dusk dragon you don't make this card all that often you're basically just using this card with fusion deployment to be able to reveal so you can summon blazing cartesia directly from the deck having access to a fusion which is just really good we then play for our super poly targets from playing a single copy of dracos to pele because this card is a walking negate one copy of guru up because it's an amazing super poly target and then finally a single copy of mud dragon because this card is just really good overall in the extract to be able to use as a super poly target so that's it for the deck guys i hope you enjoyed this deck is super fun to be able to play and really nostalgic if you guys have never played a time wizard deck before you should definitely give this deck a try because it's super fun being able to summon out your copy of time wizard and red eyes dark dragoon right beside it which is just super cool i absolutely love it and the branded package in this deck just works so well so that's gonna do it for this one guys don't forget to like comment subscribe Hit the bell and there's income part notification squad, and we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.